Understanding, don't touch that. A guide for English learners. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore a common English phrase, don't touch that. This phrase is used in various situations, and understanding its use is important for English learners. Let's dive into the meaning, usage, and nuances of this phrase. Don't touch that is a straightforward directive. It's used when someone is telling another person not to physically touch something. The word don't is a contraction of do not, indicating a prohibition or a strong advice against an action, which in this case is touching. The word that refers to a specific object or item that is being discussed or is obvious in the context. The context in which, don't touch that, is used can vary widely. It could be a parent speaking to a child about a hot stove, a friend warning another about a fragile item, or a sign in a museum next to valuable art. The tone and situation greatly affect the meaning. In a serious tone, it's a strict warning. In a lighter tone, it might be more casual or joking. In different English-speaking cultures, don't touch that can have slight variations. For example, in some regions, people might say, leave that alone, or hands off. These phrases convey a similar message but can reflect different levels of urgency or formality. If someone tells you, don't touch that, the appropriate response is to immediately stop what you're doing. You can acknowledge the request by saying, okay, or sorry. It's important to respect the speaker's request, as it often concerns safety or care for something valuable or delicate. I hope this video helps you understand the phrase, don't touch that, and its usage in English. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about context, tone, and culture. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.